Hey guys, long time no see. Well, I got a question on one of my YouTube channels about this engine on one of the videos I had, the Cox 0.2 Bumblebee engine. I can't remember exactly what I named it. Anyways, I was wondering a few questions about it, like how do you remove the cylinder head, which has a glow plug in it. Uh, just give me a second, I'll check. How to start the glow plug because normally you use one of these for it this is from the 60s or 70s back when this engine was first uh, built it's an old engine but it runs great and the other question was what batteries do you use, what voltage, stuff like that and another question was can I use any other fuels but nitro to answer the fuel question right away do not use any other fuels I've heard of people doing it before but Nitro fuel is the safest, best idea for these engines. They're meant to run that, that certain peak and all that stuff. Extra blades, stuff like that. Anyways, something that's missing from this, you notice, is the fuel tank. There used to be a yellow tank down here, but that broke off and dried off years ago. So I just attached a fuel line to a metal tank that we have for this. There's your fuel adjustment cylinder head. Let's get on with this tools. This is what the tool looks like to remove the cylinder head. Fits in two little notches on the top. There's also this groove right here that fits where the exhaust slash intake ports are. Uh, sorry, this engine it's only the exhaust if I remember it. Anyways, it's to remove the cylinder head, which is this part, and the main part of the cylinder here. The rest of it, you got the adjustments and everything inside it. So the next question is how to connect it. You have this connector. All it does is slides on to... Sorry, it's going to be hard doing it with one hand. It slides into the cooling fins on the lower part and clips into that pin right there. What you're aiming to do is attach one side of the battery to this very tip and one side of the battery to the cooling pins not the black part, the silver part that's still part of the top then you connect it to a 1.5 volt battery double A preferably and then go for a start the only other thing was which way does this engine spin in this case it spins the way you see it now counterclockwise looking straight at it you see there's a little spring there, it's still working, I had to re-bend it to make this one work, but uh, that's the way it spins and starts as fine, runs. The pitch of the prop is also right, it's a puller, not a pusher. If you have any more questions about this engine or other stuff, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Have a great one guys, and quite a lot of videos on group back to come. Have a great one guys.